U.S. highways are crucial for economic activity and the movement of goods across the country, but they are terribly designed. They are unsafe, illogical, and costly to our country. In this video, I explain what design aspects contribute to a poor user experience. Highways are large, take up a lot of land area, and decrease the value of surrounding property. This means they are suitable for rural and low-density areas across the United States. In short, highways are excellent for connecting two cities. They need large tracts of relatively straight, uninterrupted land with gentle curves and a low population that will suffer from building it. Since they are loud and polluting, you don't want to live near a highway. They are best suited for high-speed connections between two large areas of interest. Unfortunately, this is not how U.S. highways have been built in urban areas. The U.S. in the 1960s bulldozed downtown neighborhoods and businesses in order to construct them. This divides cities in half, making it very unpleasant to walk or bike across. It results in dead space that could be economically productive. I mean, this circle in Charlotte, North Carolina is directly adjacent to the most expensive real estate in North and South Carolina. And instead of a valuable business, apartment building, or neighborhood park, it's a completely worthless plot of land that costs money to maintain. Highways are not suitable for general purpose transportation. They serve a very specific role in our infrastructure. They are high-speed connections between two distant areas of interest. They do not belong anywhere near a city center. The rest of this video will be centered around different facets of U.S. highway design flaws. But first we need to talk about lane management. On a highway, the right lane should be for cruising and the left lane should be for passing. Once you complete your pass, you should immediately move over to the right to allow higher speed traffic to continue. This increases safety, speed, and throughput. I won't go into detail as to all the reasons why this is, but this is part of the reason that the German Autobahn has such a low fatality rate compared to U.S. highways. Most U.S. drivers do not adhere to this and it is infuriating. Anyway, assuming that people should drive like this, a couple of design considerations must be adhered to to make this possible. Highway entrances and exits should only ever be on the right side. Since the left lane is for passing, you should under no circumstance make a highway exit to the left. This adds conflict because a low speed driver would have to traverse across the high speed lanes to take an exit. Every single on and off ramp should be on the right hand side with no exceptions. And if you can't design an interchange that adheres to this rule, then don't build one. The U.S. puts entrances and exits literally all over the place. Sometimes they're from the right, sometimes they're to the left, and sometimes the dividing line is straight down the middle of a highway. This adds conflict, risk, and confusion, which leads to traffic and accidents. The American highway system has a fetish of trying to add connections to as many roads as possible, especially in urban areas. The point of a highway is to get on it and stay on it for a long distance. So it should be relatively difficult to access the highway. It's not for everyday trips to the grocery store. You should only use it if you're going from one city to another. Because of the connection fetish, American highways have too many on and off ramps mushed together, which dramatically increases the points of conflict, which decreases both speed and safety. Highways are supposed to be limited access, but when you add too many connections, it ruins it for everyone. 
Because there is a connection fetish, and highways are built where there isn't enough land, there are many instances where a connection cannot be made symmetrically. For example, in Charlotte, North Carolina, there is an interchange that is only accessible from I-85 if you're going northbound. Conversely, you can't access the highway unless you're going southbound. This adds confusion because depending on which way you are coming from, you have to take a different exit. This is unnecessarily complex and only arises because of the urge to add connections through dense urban landscapes where there isn't enough space. Every exit should be accessible from every direction, and if you can't do that due to budget, land, or other constraints, then don't build the interchange. Let the highway pass through and build an interchange elsewhere. Most highways should only have four lanes, two in each direction. Since they are high-speed connections between two cities, the traffic on them should be high-speed, continuous, and low volume. In the rare instance that more lanes are needed, lanes should only be added to the left. Why? Because the left lane is for passing. If you add a lane to the right, it decreases safety dramatically because now drivers have to make an extra lane change to take the next exit. Lane 1 should always be able to take the next exit at all times, regardless of circumstance. This is one reason why many Americans don't adhere to the passing rules. Lanes are added to the right and left all the time, and there is no standard of lane management which means your lane could be forced off on, onto an exit at any time. If you're scared your lane is going to end, you'll get over to a middle lane to ensure that you can keep going forward. This adds slower traffic to the middle lanes. Adding and subtracting lanes should be rare, but if done, should only be happening on the left side of the highway. This lets the faster drivers choose to overtake you and the slower drivers keep their lane by default. If you implement all of the above aspects appropriately and drivers use the left lane only to pass, you can safely allow most zones in the US to have unrestricted speeds like they do in Germany. The only exception is when the highway is traversing very hostile terrain like the Appalachian Mountains or the Rockies. In these geographic locations, you have tighter, winding curves, and weather can be problematic. But because of our terrible highway decisions, poorly trained drivers, and bad highway locations, we are stuck with 16-lane, crowded, ugly, unsafe, slow, and anxiety-inducing deathways. This is Mo Money Mango and America's highways are f-